Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hi everybody, good afternoon. I am Professor Vikas Medi. Uh, today I am going to discuss a very important class that is on local anesthetic. Now in clinical practice, whether you are working in a tertiary care centers or secondary or primary, day to day life you invariably use local anesthetic. Now as the name signifies local anesthetic. That means you are using for a local area to be anesthetized, for example, in a minor operation or other activities. Now, let us discuss about the topic. Saying local anesthetic is what does it mean? It is a loss of sensation to the limited region of the body. Now, if you want to define local anesthetic, it is a loss of sensation of body part without loss of consciousness. Or you can either way say impairment of central control of vital function. Now, when you apply locally, like suppose you apply a topical one, local anesthetic act as a part of nervous system or every trap of nervous nerve fibers. That means what it does it it is reversible blocking. It block the sensation so that after suitable time, the sensation come back. So, usually you prefer in all the minor surgery. Now, second thing is you call it as ideal local anesthetic. So, what are the point we will call a local anesthetic to be ideal? The first thing your mindset, it should come to your mindset, it should be reversible. That means, you introduce either topically injectable or any of the route of administration. In case of spinal anesthesia, it should be reversible. Second thing is, when you inject, it should be non-irritant. Any of the irritant drug, you find later there could be side effect. Because of irritancy, there could be pain or there could be damage to the nerve fiber. So, the agent you select is it reversible and non-irritant and at the same time since it should have only local anesthetic effect, there should be no allergic reaction. And since name signify, it should not go to the distant organ or systemic toxicity and that is the reason many times we use local anesthetic along with adrenaline. because we wanted to prevent the further absorption for in order to prevent systemic toxicity. Now, as you see that whenever you use local anesthetic, the onset should be short that you get immediate action and suitable time it should cover the local anesthetic effect. So, there should be sufficient duration of action and it should be potent also. Now, Whenever you prepare local anesthetic, the solution should be stable and in case of suppose you use a local anesthetic where it should not interfere with the healing of the tissue. Now, if it is healed, interfere with the healing of the tissue, definitely it is not considered to be suitable. And usually as I said earlier that we use a vasoconstrictor, usually use adrenaline. Now, adrenaline it act on alpha 1 receptor it is a potent vasoconstrictor property. So, it help to have a sufficient action of local anesthetic in the local area and at the same time it prevent absorption to the distance organ or systemic toxicity and it should be affordable, non expensive. So, typically you consider ideal local anesthetic if it is reversible 
if it is non irritant, non allergic, reduce systemic toxicity, there should not be any system toxicity, and you want the action to be fast, and this action should be for a sufficient time so that you can do a minor surgery that point of time it should cover the local anesthetic absent, it should be stable in the solution. So, there are so many criteria along with you also use vasoconstrictor and lastly it is should be affordable. Now, when you look back and look at the history, how the people started giving local anesthetic, there is a strong history. The first local anesthetic it was used was cocaine and as you know that cocaine nowadays it is a narcotic, it is a banned drug and it was used in late 19th century. In the history you will see it occur abundance of leaves and coca, it is name is called erythrogylon coca and people used to chew this alkalic extract for in case of a party or for a stimulatory euphoretic action. So, all this native they used to chew this alkali, so that they get the numbness of the tongue and also it causes euphoria. So, that is how that local anesthetic action was initially been identified. Later on in 1960, there is a scientist called Albert Neyman, he isolated the cocaine and that time he identified that whenever it been chewed or you put it in the local tongue area, there is a numbness of tongue and that is how it become that it partially loss of sensation that person feel numbness. So, after isolation of the cocaine by Albert Nain, Sigmund Freud studied cocaine physiological action. What is the physiological action? Why it is causes numbness? In September 15, 1884, Carl Kohler introduced a new clinical practice as a topical anesthetic. This word was not used earlier. In 1884, he used this local anesthetic to be used in the eyes for eye surgery. Later on in 1885, next year, Halstead used infiltration conduction block anesthesia, like you can say brachial block or particular nerve block. Later on in 1998, August Beer, he used first spinal anesthesia. That you put the anesthetic agent into the subarachnoid space through lumbar region and hold the lower limbs it get block or part of abdomen. And in 1905, Alfred Ehrman, he prepared drug called procaine. And this was the first synthetic local anesthetic was prepared for the first time in 1905 by Alfred Inhorn. And this was synthesis and it become a prototype of all local anesthetic nearly half century. So, starting from seeing that you know alkali which gives numbness and euphoria, people synthesized cocaine, then it studied physiological action, then people started using local anesthetic into the eyes for ophthalmological surgery and later on the word used is infiltration conduction anesthesia or spinal anesthesia and procaine was prepared in 1900th century. Now, when you look at <coughs> chemistry of local anesthetic, clinically these are, if you look at it clinically or chemically, it is chemically, it is a weak base. And this weak base has a amphiphilic properties. So, typically if you look at that how chemically local anesthetic should contain, it has a hydrophilic or hydrophobic moiety secondary to one side and this hydrophilic aromatic residue in other side and it joined by ester or amide. So, when you divide local anesthetic ester group or amide group. So, this hydrophilic group usually have a tertiary amide but it may be a secondary amine. So, it has a hydrophobic moiety and it must be aromatic one. 
Now, because of hydrophobicity, you can have a more potent local anesthetic or it can alter the duration of action or you can also alter reduce the toxicity. Now, look at the molecular size because when you look at the molecular size, it influences the ratio of dissociation of local anesthetic. So, you can also think of that how long it will bind to the receptor and you can predict initially that how long it will give the action. Now, look at the mechanism of action, how local anesthetic act as a reversible or more potent one. Now, as you know that local anesthetic all it act on a cell membrane and in cell membrane there is a direct interaction with particularly sodium channel. Now, when you look at this sodium channel, this anesthetic action, it develop initially it causes alter the threshold of electrical activity gradually, it increase. Then at the same time, because of that binding capacity, it reduce the action potential. So, the impulses conduction through the membrane, it gets slower down and ultimately you can see the safety factor conduction is getting slower and that is how you get a local anesthetic absent because the factor of decreased probability propagation in case of a nerve terminal like axon potential or eventually it is fail. So, it act as a local anesthetic action. Now, in case of a higher concentration, this local anesthetic and also open the potassium channel and typically local anesthetic it block the potassium channel and if you look at the extracellular calcium is partially antagonized to local anesthetic, conversely increase the extracellular potassium enhancing the effect of local anesthetic. So, look at the onset of time, this block depend on PK agent of any of the local anesthetic. So, if you say there is a low PK like for example, lignocaine, mepivocaine, then it has a faster acting or onset and it form the important cell penetration. So, you can see the mechanism of action, but looking at the properties, you can also see that how fast local anesthetic action can have and how long that duration is there is there. Now, duration of action when you compare, it is almost proportional to time contact with a nerve. For example, if you give cocaine, it has a neural membrane transporter, it is interfered with. So, it causes vasoconstriction and it reduces the cocaine absorption. So, in clinical practice, vasoconstrictor usually epinephrine is often used in local anesthetic. Now, here if you see this vasoconstrictor properties, it actually act as a dual service. One thing is that it decreasing the rate of absorption to the site of action of only it will give that desired action in that particular area and also it allow the drug elimination to keep pace with entry into the systemic circulation. So, there will be thereby no systemic side effect or adverse effect will be into because of local anesthetic agent. Now, there are so many undesirable side effect or adverse effect of local anesthetic. We will go one by one. Some of the local anesthetic, it can cause CNS stimulus. Now, how it can, because once it cross CNS, it may cause restlessness. Person may have tremor or in case of a higher dose, it can cause convulsion. Now, this CNS stimulation is always followed by depression or toxicity there could be death usually caused by because of local anesthetic effect. In case of systemic toxicity, it can cause respiratory failure. So, early symptoms if you see that one has to be very careful that local anesthetic toxicity or people might say that there is a numbness or there is a numbness in the tongue. So, usually we give a pre-medication of parenteral benzodiazepine like we give dizepam, we give midazolam or it may provide some prophylaxis against 
local anesthetic induced CNS toxicity. If you look at that American Society for Regional Anesthesia, it advocated that benzodiazepine as a first line drug like midazolam is given at the dose of 0 0.023, 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 milligram per kg. And most of the time, the frequent complaint it reported is drowsiness. Second is if you look at cardiovascular system. Now, in this local anesthetic primary site is myocardium. Many conditions we use lignocaine also. So, the action on myocardium usually drug like lignocaine, it interferes with electrical excitability. Also, it interferes with you know conduction from AB node to SA node to AB node or rest of this conduction properties. And that is why it also interferes with the force of contraction. So, in addition to local anesthetic action that it might cause in overdose arterial dilatation or ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation, though it is uncommon except bupivacan, it is not been reported. Third is what is the effect on smooth muscle? As you know that local anesthetic, it depresses the contraction of intake bowel. So, basically it relax vascular and bronchial smooth muscle also in respiratory tract or it may increase the resting tone and decrease contraction of isolated human uterine. So, if you look at smooth muscle, action on GIT smooth muscle, action on respiratory tract, action on uterine muscles, you have to consider what is the effect. Now, coming to the main point, it action on neuromuscular junction or ganglia. As you can see that local anesthetic, it affect neuromuscular junction and autonomic ganglia. Then this is due to why it is so, because it block the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors in a high concentration. So, you can think that if you block nicotinic cholinergic receptors, what are the action you will get? And this has been seen in case of a higher dose, if you give higher dose. Now, typically when you select for even local anesthetic action, you need to also take the allergy history because some of them are hypersensitivity reaction take place. So, this reaction manifest allergic dermatitis or typically some people also report it with asthmatic attack. And when you use locally a particular skin, skin rashes is reported. But in case of a rare individual, some people are hypersensitive to local anesthetic. So, you have to take a detailed history of allergy and if you find that particular local anesthetic may be you have to avoid. And this hypersensitivity seems to occur more frequently with local anesthetic, particularly when you look for ester type. So, in that situation that ester type local anesthetic should be avoided. Now, what you do in case of a toxicity? As ideally, it should give a local anesthetic action. You give a vasoconstrictor for any systemic toxicity, means there will be no absorption, why that is why you give a vasoconstrictor like adrenaline. However, because of degradation of local anesthetic, this degradation also varies greatly and this major factor for determining is particular agent. So, in case of degradation where tissue protein binding is there, there could be decreased toxicity also. Now, revising this effect of toxicity is a clinical challenge and one of the developing approach is you might think that people use like intravenous lipid emulsion therapy. So, one has to be careful about toxicity. Now, as you say that there are different type of local anesthetic, let us classify. There is you can divide into two classification, one is ester group, second is amide group. Now, when you talk about ester group, these are the older class of drug and many of the drug are derivative of PABA 
paraamino benzoic acid. And typically, it has the properties that it is hydrolyzed in plasma and by enzyme called choline esterase. Now, let us take name of the ester local anesthetic like cocaine, not used. It is banned drug, narcotic, but other benzocaine, procaine, chloropecan, tetracaine. You can take an example. Now, amides are newer class of drug and these are derivative of aniline. Only thing is that how this drug also metabolized that it is also metabolized by cytochrome P450. So, most common used drug of amides are lignocan, bupivacan, rupivacan, mepivacan, dibucan, prilucan, artican. So, you can see that when you pronounce names are almost similar. So, you can remember amides group derivatives of aniline metabolized by cytochrome P450 start from lignocan, bupivacan, rupican, mebivacan, dipovacan, pyrocan or artican. So, these are most commonly used drug is a lignocan one. Now, let us look at the comparative characteristics of ester and amide. Now, if you say <coughs> ester group are mostly metabolized means rapidly by choline esterase, but in case of amide, it is through cytochrome P450 and metabolism is very slow, hepatic metabolism. And since ester is less likely to cause systemic toxicity, but in case of a lignocan, mapivacan, amides group are more likely to cause systemic toxicity. There could be possibility of ester group that it causes allergic reaction, but in case of a amide group, it is very rarely occur. Now, question here, we, we talk about ideal local anesthetic, there we discuss that stability of the solution is very, very important. And that is why if you see ester group, it is background in the ampoule, like if you do not keep it in an ideal temperature storage condition is not maintained. It is in a heat or sunlight, it is likely to cause breakdown. But amides group are very, very stable chemically. So, onset of action is very important because suppose you plan for a surgery, you give a local anesthetic, you cannot wait for a long time. So, ester group is easily slow, but amides group are moderately to the fast. It has give onset is very fast. So, you can give and you can start doing your surgery. So, comparatively there is an advantage and there is a disadvantage, but when you look at the amides group in terms of you know allergic reactions or onset of action, it has an advantage with amides group. Let us discuss that older local anesthetic which was initially isolated and studied in detail the physiological function that we talk about cocaine, which is not used nowadays because of narcotic and a boost potential. So, this basically a benzoic acid of methyl leucosin and when you look at the pharmacological action, it acts as a local anesthetic because it blocked the nerve impulses. It also block causes local vasoconstriction because of secondary stimulator to nerve ending terminal. So, it has a toxicity and potential to have more important is abuse potential or addiction, addiction and that is the reason it is not been preferred. So, there is no clinical use with the cocaine. Now, coming to the most important drug is lignocan. It is a prototype of amide. It has advantage because it is a faster action and more intense and action is longer lasting. But one thing is that compared to the older one, it is extensive anesthesia and doses is equal concentration of sprocan. Now, look at how it is absorbed, distributed, metabolized and excreted. Now, as you say that it is absorbed rapidly following you give 
intradermal or subcutaneous and this administration also can go to the systemic toxicity that is the reason we add adrenaline with lignocaine. Basically it is de-alkylated as I already mentioned that all this amide it is metabolized by cytochrome P450. So in human if you see 75 percent of xylylide it is excreted in urine and it is converted to a metabolite called 4-hydroxy 2-D diethyl leninin. So clinically it is widely used. It is has a utility almost all applications of intermediate duration of action and it has been preferred in transdermal pets also in terms of relief of the pain or post therapeutic neuralgia. So it is very common use of local anesthetic. Second thing is you can see some of the combination of lignocaine with tetracaine also because it generates the heat on exposure to the air and it is used prior to various assays of superficial dermatological procedure for example in case of excision or in case of electrocautery. Another use is AMLA the combination of lignocaine with prilocaine. Lignocaine in that concentration we use is 2.5 percent or prilocaine is 2.5 percent and this is applied under occlusive dressing almost per hour in case of IV cannula or it is in a skin grafting harvesting or superficial procedure. Now as you know that lignocaine affect on cardiovascular system. If you look at the pharmacological action of lignocaine and that is why it is also used as anti arrhythmic agent. Now what are the side effects or adverse effects? As we said about generalize that overdose of any of the local anesthetic like negrocan it causes drowsiness and one of the complication of side effect is it depresses the respiratory center. So one has to be very careful and that is the reason that we ask the patient in order to have any systemic toxicity do you have any numbness particularly numbness of the tongue. Patient also might tell you that there is a tinnitus lighting of the head or dysgeusia or dizziness or there is a problem of twisting. So if you find all these symptoms patient complain of this side effect you might think that there is a systemic toxicity. You have to be careful. In case of a severe form patient they develop a seizure, they go into coma as I said there is a respiratory depression and there could be cardiac arrest also. So this is also very carefully used the dose and in order to avoid any systemic side effect. <laughs> Second most common local anesthetic it is used is Bupi vacant. And this drug has been widely used in various clinical practice. And it has utility almost any of the application of longer duration is needed. Now if you look at the structure that is lignocaine except amine containing group like butyrolyl pyripridine. And it has an advantage as I said it has a longer duration of action. Plus it has also tendency to provide more sensory than motor blood. So this is a popular drug providing the prolonged anesthesia and that is why it has been selected in case of a labor or post operative period. Now how does bupivacam absorb, distribute, metabolite and excrete? It is very very slow compared to lignocan. And all this amide group I already mentioned that it is metabolized through hepatic cytochrome P450 and this bupivacan is metabolized by cytochrome 3A4 and it converted to piperi coloxidil which then glucuronate and it is excreted in urine. So if you look at the toxicity profile bupivacan is equally cardiotoxic and usually it is manifested that person may have ventricular arrhythmia, myocardial depression so one has to be careful while using bupivacan. 
local anesthetic agent suitable for injection. One of the drug we use is articate. And this drug is initially used in the US for dental anesthetic. Although this is a amide local anesthetic, it also contains ester group. And advantage of this art articane is it is has a rapid onset action and also it has a longer duration of action. Now, one of the common drug it is used is chloroprocan. Chloroprocan is basically a chlorinated derivative procan and action is onset is rapid and shorter duration of action. So, you can think that plasma half life is almost 25 seconds, but it has a prolonged sensory and motor block and it is also given epidural and subarachnoid administration in the large dose. Of course, over a period of time the use of this drug has been decreased. Another drug it is used is mepivacan. Mepivacan compared to lignocan or bupivacan, it is basically intermediate action, intermediate duration of action is intermediate action. And this drug do not have when you use topically. And this mepivacan also shown to be more toxic in case of neonate, so it is not preferred and also not preferred in obstetrical anesthesia. This drug has been shown reported slightly higher therapeutic index in adult when you compare with lignocan. So, onset of action is similar and duration of action is slightly longer than lignocan. Another drug is rupivacan. So, if you look at toxicity profile the cardiotoxic properties of rupivacan is lead to formation of less toxic to rupivacan. So, compared to all this amide group, bupivacan has more cardiotoxic profile and though it is less potent compared to bupivacan, but it is suitable for people used for epidural, people used for regional anesthesia and when you compare with duration of action it is almost similar to bupivacan. But one more interesting thing is that it seems even more motor sparing than bupivacan. So, it is has a very wide use in case of epidural and used to relief in case of post operative and obstetric use also during the labor it is used. Now, another drug <laughs> what we practice is prilucan. Basically, prilocan is an intermediate action, but it has couple of advantages. It is less vasodilatory drug or that is why prilocan can be used without a vasoconstrictor like adrenaline. Though it is increased the you know volume of you know distribution, but when you compare with other local anesthetic, it has less CNS toxicity. So, Clinician they prefer it is suitable for intravenous regional block. So, use of prilocan is largely limited to dentist they use for dentistry uh, practice, but one more one has to be careful of prilocan is that it causes dose dependent meat hemoglobin. So, one has to be careful about prilocan use as it is reported with meat hemoglobin. Another use drug is longer acting drug is tetracoin. It is very potent as I said it is a longer acting drug compared to you know uh, procaine, but it is slowly metabolized. It may cause systemic toxicity, but most commonly used drug in case of a spinal anesthesia. Because this drug is suitable when you think that there is a surgery required a longer duration, then this drug is selected. This drug is also incorporated in several topical anesthetic preparation. So, benefit is longer acting, it is potent, selected for spinal and topical anesthetic preparation. Now, what are the drug? local anesthetic we decide to use for mucous membrane and skin. 
because day to day practice you will find that this you require this drug. Like for example, if I give you example of effective symptomatic relief for if something is happened in anal and genital pruritus, poison IV rise or in case of you know skin condition like acute and chronic dermatitis. So, then if you see that sometimes it combined with you use glucocorticoid, antihistaminic and along with that the local anesthetic use is dubican, dicyclomine, paroxamine. So, these are maybe you can find there are a lot of fixed dose combination is also available and it is used for this several mucus and membrane and skin condition. Now, anesthetic with low aqueous solubility as I said that one of the criteria we select we think that whatever local anesthetic agent you use is it stable. Particularly I have given an example of the impulse if storage condition is not maintained, if we are in a periphery, if it is exposed to sunlight. So, aqueous solubility is important that it might absorb very slowly, but it can be applied directly to the wound in case of wound dressing or if we are putting a sutures or unclear surface, surface where they remain localized for a long period of time. So, you require to have local anesthetic sustained anesthetic action like for example, most of this anesthetic we use is benzocaine, but we only careful that benzocaine it also causes meat hemoglobin. So, these are some of the anesthetic agent it is used in mucous membrane, skin and wound healing. Now, what about topical application like for example, ophthalmic use? Any local anesthetic you want to select, it should not be irritating to the eye. So, most of the local anesthetic are too irritating to ophthalmological use. If you look at the history, the first anesthetic agent in ophthalmology it was used is cocaine. And typically, topical application of local anesthetic, readily anesthetic basically it give anesthesia to cornea and conjunctiva. So, there are two compound most frequently are uh, used in ophthalmological condition is propocaine and tetracaine. And this compound is basically we put it the install a drop single drop at a time and this duration of anesthesia depend on vascularity of tissue. So, it give more longer duration in case of a cornea and long term administration it result <laughs> you have to see that is it affecting the healing, is it causing pitting or look at the epithelium of the cornea. Now, if it is interfering with the epithelium then there could be corneal ulcer one has to be careful for this because basically it is an irritant. So, that is the reason one has to be careful of use of local anesthetic if it is irritant it causes sloughing of this corneal epithelium. So, in long term patient may have corneal ulcer. Now, some of the clinical use you can say we use topical anesthesia. Topical anesthesia we use in mucous membrane or you can see any abraded skin. So, I had given an example of corneal surface. I have given an example of mucous membrane like for example, mucous membrane of nose, mouth, pharynx, esophagus or genital urinary tract. So, this all can be anesthetized. You want to put a catheter into the you know genital urinary tract, you can use lignocaine. So, ineffective intake of skin, we use also sometimes lignocaine 2.5 prilocaine 2.5, lignocaine 7 percent, tetracaine 7 percent. So, this concentration is very important in order to have ideal local anesthetic. Like commonly used local anesthetic if you see we use concentration lignocaine is 2 to 10 percent. Like eutectic mixture of lignocaine 2.5 of lignocaine, prilocaine is 2.5, benzocaine 5 percent, dicloin 
chloroquine is 0.5 to 1 percent. <coughs> Look at the infiltration anesthesia, particularly it is used by dentist. So, what you do is you give an injection like figure I have shown, you give an injection of given the skin under the area of operation. Basically, what you want to do is you block the sensory nerve appendix. So, it is useful in minor surgery like you want to put an incision or you want to take out something with the excision or you want to go for a suiciding. So, frequently use local anesthetic like use of lignocaine 0.5 to 1 percent or you can use procaine 0.5 to 1 percent or bupivacan 0.125 to 0.25 percent. So, this is typical example of infiltration anesthesia in dentistry. Now, question here is should we use adrenaline added to local anesthetic because what we said is it prolongs the duration of action and second is advantage is it reduce systemic toxicity. Now, when you use adrenaline containing solution, it should not be one has to be very, very careful query you are using because any N arteries it should not be used. N artery means in case of a finger, in case of a toes, in case of a ear, nose and any N arteries if you use it might cause prolonged vasoconstriction and it might cause gangrene. So, one has to be very, very careful that where do you use local anesthetic with adrenaline in N artery one should be avoided. Now, talk about field block anesthesia. How we give field block? You give a subcutaneous injection of solution of local anesthetic into the regional injection. Now, for example, you wanted to use into scalp or you wanted to use in anterior abdominal level or lower extremity. Now, you have to competitively think that more you go upper part of body, there is a more vascularity. You go to the lower extremities, there is a less vascularity. So, one has to be very, you have to see that what is the ischemic time. For example, ischemic time for upper limb or ischemic time for the lower limb. So, in case of a lower limb, one has to be very careful because it is more prone for ischemia. So, advantage is less drug to be provided greater area in anesthesia. So, you have to whenever you think of a field block anesthesia, you see which area you are blocking it. What is the vascularity? Then only you decide the duration. <coughs> Another thing is we use term called nerve block anesthesia. So, that means you give an injection about the nerve trunk like brachial plexus you block the brachial which supply the particular area of anesthesia coming and leaving area. For example, I have already given brachial plexus block. So, that means you wanted to operate on something on upper limb. So, you wanted to block brachial plexus upper extremity or shoulder procedure or suppose you wanted to operate on intercostal nerve block. So, you give a anesthesia relaxation of anterior abdominal wall or there is a cervical plexus block in case of a neck surgery or there could be sciatic or femoral nerve block in case of you want to do some you know surgery in distal surgery, knee surgery. So, typically we block the nerve block anesthesia. So, depending on the area we block it and you have to also be careful about duration of blocking with this. Now, other example of nerve block used prior to the surgery, you can say individual nerve block in case of a wrist or in case of a ankle or individual nerve block, median ulnar nerve block, elbow. So, there are so many example you can give. Now, the question here is choice of local anesthetic and amount of concentration, it is depending on which particular nerve as I say how long you want to give, how long you want to block this is very important. For example, point to be noted nerve and type of fiber to be blocked. 
Second is what is the required quantity or duration of anesthesia. Then you think that what is the weight and health of the patient. So, there are so many factors you have to keep in mind when you go for nerve block surgery. Now, another term we use is beer block, B I E R block. What does it mean? That means we give intravenous regional anesthesia. I have given an example and this use most often the surgery in case of forearm and hand and this use in case of a food and distal legs also. So, commonly if we take an example of beer block is we use prilocan 5 percent because why you select prilocan because it has a large therapeutic index. So, it is preferred compared to lignocan as an alternative. So, this is the drug is preferred for beer block. Now, invariably we use lot of spinal anesthesia. You can use number of you know terminology. Earlier used to say intrathecal anesthesia or you can say subarachnoid anesthesia. Now, what you do in spinal anesthesia, you give an injection of local anesthetic which circulate with CSF because it is given in a lumbar space. And you see the level of anesthesia depend on how much volume you inject, what is the speed of injection you give and it is also important to note that what is the specific gravity and posture of the patient. Now, if you take an example of pregnant woman, it required a less drug for spinal anesthesia. And commonly used local anesthetic we give for spinal anesthesia is lignocaine, tetracaine, bupivacan and if you think of using operation like lower limb or pelvis or lower abdomen or suppose in case of prostatectomy or in cesarean operation where commonly this spinal anesthesia is used. So, these are the operation it is used in spinal anesthesia. Of course, it is very safe and it produces a good anesthesia and along with anesthesia it also causes muscle relaxation. One has to be take care of you know cardiac function, pulmonary functions, is there any renal dysfunction or pose less problem and when you use with epinephrine it also increase the duration of action. But some of the minor complication like after giving spinal anesthesia people usually have severe headache there could be nausea and vomiting also and rarely it is also been reported that there could be coda equina syndrome. So, headache is very very common along with nausea vomiting, but rare side effect may be coda equina syndrome. So, most of the physiological side effect like it is because why they develop because of sympathetic blockage. Another example is we use local anesthetic is epidural anesthesia. Now, in epidural anesthesia what we do is local anesthetic is injected along with small dose of opioid analgesic into the epidural space. Maybe the space you can select in cervical or depending on the condition thoracics or lumbar regions or sometimes sacral region for caudal block. Many of the times in clinical practice you use the catheter and these catheters are developed and which it can be placed in epidural space and it release either continuous infusion or slow release of this drug. So, that there is a continuous effect of analgesic and local anesthetic effect. Though it is very difficult compare simple spinal <laughs> anesthesia technically and in this epidural anesthesia compared to spinal anesthesia you require a large volume of the drug and most of the drug we select is lignocaine, bupivacaine and rupicaine. Now, it is used to be performed in case of block anesthesia, in case of a surgery of lower limb pelvis or lower abdomen 
or many of the times in gynecological and obstetrical surgery you use. However, in surgeon like abdominal surgery, thoracic surgery, neck surgery it is used. Typically like spinal anesthesia it also causes headache or there could be neurological symptoms complication though it is reported less compared to other one. So, altogether if you see local anesthetic we divide into amide group which is a older local anesthetic and ester group. You compare with pharmacological action or metabolism or effect, it has an advantage with ester group like niglocan, bupivacan because it has a fast action. You can also have several drug which has a immediate actions or longer duration of actions and comparatively side effect is less compared to the ester group. So, one has to be carefully used local anesthetic one has to be monitor the patient for any systemic toxicity though it is called local anesthetic, but monitoring and evaluation of the patient is very very needed in terms of hypersensitivity to a particular local anesthetic it should be evaluated before that. Thank you very much.